the Green Hornet. He hunts the biggest of all game, public enemies that even the G-men cannot reach. The Green Hornet. the gas station on the next corner, Kroger? Not that one, Sally. Can't you see how much he's charging for gas? That one's okay. The one we want around the next corner. Which way? Turn left. There's the place. Here it goes! I guess we won't have no more trouble with that guy. Not now, Slago. Drink up, boys. You sure the bomb did a good job? I was watching through the rearview mirror, Slago. Kroger tossed that pineapple right into the middle of the gas pump. Don't worry, boss. You can pick up what's left of the place with an eyedropper. That's fine. From now on, he'll pay protection dough along with the rest. You've got a sweet racket, Slago. Sure. Every gas station in the city is kicking in. They're paying for protection, Sally. I make sure nothing happens to them. And if they don't pay... They run into trouble like tonight. You were careful not to let anyone see you? We went by too fast, Warren. Yeah, we used a stolen car. This is a couple of blocks further on. The only guy that has an idea it was us is the guy we bombed. Catch him talking. Besides, he don't know for sure. At least got a suspicion. Right. A guy who's scared don't make a good witness. You need more than suspicions for proof. You said it, boss. As for the police... They can't prove a thing when they ain't got witnesses. Miss Case, get the district attorney on the phone for me. Have Laura here when I'm through talking. Yes, Mr. Reed. Have it up. Well, it looks like a three-alarm fire the way he's burning up. Sally, get the district attorney on the wire. And tell Lowry to stop cutting out paper dolls and come in here on the double. Mr. Reed's in a hurry. And I do mean hurry. Well, I wonder what it is this time. Last week he was turning out scorching editorials on dangerous drivers and how they were a menace on the city street. Yes, Mr. Reed? Get me all the information we have on the recent gas station accident. Now bring it to me as soon as you get it. Oh, is that the district attorney? Mr. Reed's office? Just a moment. Yes, Mr. Reed, it's the district attorney. I'll switch him on your wire. I have it. Get busy on that list. Hello. Hello, let me have the morgue. Don't tell me, Casey. The boss is going to make me the love morgue editor. You'd do better at a racetrack, Laurie. Hello, morgue? Morgue? Did somebody die? Not that morgue, silly. The place where we keep all the back copies of the Sentinel. Oh, no, Casey. You're kidding me. If there's any information he wants, I have it at my fingertips. This is Miss Case. Mr. Reed wants all the information you have about recent gas station accidents. That's it, huh? I don't care how you get them. Well, check with the police. Go through your back copies. Casey, that last gas station that was blown up was a shambles. Wrecked pumps, gasoline. I never saw such a mess. It doesn't take a reporter to see that. Do I detect a note of sarcasm in that last crack? You do. Honestly, Lowry, it's an open secret who's back of all these bombings and fires. Really? Legal, that's who. Then tell me something I don't know, Casey. Then why don't your stories say so? Listen, Casey. Sure, Slagle controls the gas stations in this town. He's got a protection racket that brings in a cent on every gallon. Then why don't you... But the Sentinel can't print that. There's no proof. We'd be sued from here to Christmas. Uh, My idea of heaven would be someplace where a newspaper can print what everybody knows is true, even though it can't be proved. Yeah, but this place isn't heaven. Not while Flegel is here. Well, maybe the district attorney can do something. I've been talking to him while I just finished. Did he have anything, Mr. Reed? Not a thing, Miss Case. How about that last bombing, boss? That's the same story all over again, Laura. Suspicions with no proof. Even the owner of that gas station refuses to talk. And meanwhile, that snake Slagle keeps raking in all the cash he can get his grabbing hands on. There's one consolation, Mr. Reed. Yeah, Casey? None that I know of, Miss Case. Well, what I mean is, Slagle's only taking money from gas stations. Well? One cent difference in the price of gasoline isn't going to affect people so much. Miss Case, you're making the same mistake that others do. The price of gasoline is as important as any other. But suppose Slagle's racket were meat and vegetable markets. Well, people wouldn't be able to get the right kind or amount of food. 
Now, you can't compare... It's practically food. the same thing. Keep your ears open, Casey. Here's where you get a lesson in simple economics. Meat and vegetable markets use trucks in their business. Yes. They have to pay the same higher price for gasoline that Slego forces from everyone else. But a cent a gallon... Well, that adds up. If they spend more for gasoline, they have to make it up somewhere else. In other words, if their expenses go up, they have to charge the public more for the food they're selling. You'll hit it, boss. And the same goes for every family that uses a car. Exactly. Every cent they have to spend for gas means one cent less to buy milk and eggs and fresh vegetables for the family table. Why, of course. I didn't stop to think. More people did think, Miss Case. Racketeers like Slagle would never get started. You're too late for that now. Slagle's got the gas station tied up tighter than Houdini. Well, that's why I called you. We're going after every one of those gasoline dealers. Why, boss? If we can find one man who'll act as witness against Slagle, that's all the district attorney will need. They're sending the names up from the morgue, Mr. Reed. Go after them, Lowry. Take Clicker Benny with you. Okay. We ought to be able to convince somebody that he's smart to act as a witness. Lowry and Clicker Benny made the rounds of the gas stations which had recently had accidents, but their search was fruitless. They could find no one who would consent to appear against Bat Slagle. They approached a gas station run by a man named Jennings. Larry said, eh, We're not having much luck, Licker. Everybody gives us the same story. I can't blame them exactly, Larry. How would you like it if something happened to your family? I haven't got a family. Yeah, but most of these gas station operators have. Besides, they can't help much. They say they can't, but I know it they... It may be true. Apparently, Bat Slagle is pretty careful about making sure there's no actual evidence against him. Benny, all these accidents can't have just happened. Slagle's responsible, all right. There's no doubt about that. Only all the victims claim they saw nobody, heard nothing, and know nothing. I still say they're scared. How about this guy here? What's his name? Jennings. Okay, watch me work. It'd be about time. Nothing's worked so far. He's not here. Must be inside the station. Yes, sir. You want some gas? Mr. Jennings? That's right. Guess I didn't hear you. I was busy checking over the business I've been doing. How is business? Could be better. Who wants to know? Paying one cent tribute and every gallon to Slagle cuts into the profits, doesn't it? Listen, mister, you here to buy gasoline or what? Hold on, Mr. Jennings. We don't mean to be rude. If you want gas, I'll sell it. If you don't, clear out. You don't understand. We're from the Daily Sentinel. Sure. He does the reporting and I take the pictures. How would you like your picture in the papers, Mr. Jennings? My picture? Yeah, the Sentinel's running a series on gas station operators. We want to tell our readers... Don't kid me. About some of our leading... Huh? You heard what I said. You ain't fooling me with that serious stuff. You hear about Bat Slagle, ain't you? Nice work, Lowry. Okay, Jennings. I won't stall. How about it? You know plenty about the way Slagle works. Me? Not a thing. I suppose Slagle didn't wreck your place last month. Where'd you get that idea? It, it was an accident. The gas tank exploded. Oh, Mr. Jennings, don't hold out on us. Come on, Jennings. You know it was Slagle. Send it on him and you'll be a hero. Yeah, I'd rather be alive. But I... Besides, it wouldn't do any good anyway. I didn't see nothing. You were here when it happened, weren't you? Sure, but I didn't see anybody. I tell you, it was an accident. See, an accident. Just like the rest of them. Afraid to talk. Listen, you. Take a tip and get out of here before I get mad. Yeah. Looks to me as if all of you are yellow. I'm warning you to get out. Letting Slagle make monkeys of you. Yellow as a chrysanthemum. Are hey, you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now get out and stay out. Don't come around again looking for a store. You'll get another poke in the jaw. Tell me, Laura, the only result of sending you and Miss Benny out is that bruise on your chin. Oh, the big jellyfish smacked me when I wasn't looking. Doesn't sound much like a jellyfish to me. Not this fellow, Mr. Reed. He was mad. I mean about Slagle, Mr. Reed. They were all jellyfish. Even the guy who shot me wouldn't open his mouth about Slagle. Compared to them, the plan could talk your ear off. Laurie, I don't quite approve of your tactics in questioning this man Jennings. I couldn't help it, boss. By the time I got around to him, I was fit to be tied. Reporters are supposed to go out for facts, not fights. On the level, boss, I tried being polite. Yes? You know Lowry, Mr. Reed. If he can't get facts one way, he uses another. Whether any of them have something on Slagle or not, I don't know. All I know is they won't talk. Miss Benny, you've been trying to conceal a grin ever since Lowry and you came in here. Me? Did you snap a picture of Jennings hitting Lowry? Uh, huh? Well, I, uh, my camera was handy, and I just took it. Clicker, you double-dealing little... Give me that camera. Hey, can't a girl take a few shots for a private collection? Let go, you glass jawed goop! Hold on, both of you. It'll ruin me, boss. Clicker, show that print all around the city room. You said it. I'll have it enlarged, too. Clicker, I'll buy that picture from you. How much? I never mind that. Rush the film to the dark room, Miss Benny. That shot is going on page one. As long as she doesn't... What? You're going to publish it? Why, boss? Why? With a caption under it reading, This man is not afraid of hitting a reporter. Why is he afraid to talk about Slagle? Wow! I've been waiting for a chance like this all my life. (laughs) 
Oh, why don't that newspaper mind its own business? Put my picture on the front page. Now, Jim. But, Alice, they know very well why I won't talk. Perhaps you should tell what you know about Slagle. And have his mob do another job on my gas station? Or come over here after you and... And Timmy? Not a chance. Slagle wouldn't do that. Sure he would. Besides, I can't prove it was Slagle had my place bombed. He's too slick for that. So we go on paying. Yeah. Now, that reminds me. Slagle's collector's due here pretty soon. Is the money ready? Yes, yeah, in the envelope. After them seeing this picture in a sentinel, I'd better have it for him on the line. The doorbell. Is that him? It's a little early, but... Well, you stay here, Alice. I'll see him in the hallway. Be careful, Jim. Don't worry, honey. Gosh, I wish there was something I could do without making things bad for Alice and the kid. Inside, Jennings. Hey, what? Man! Get back. A gun! I know you. You're the Green Hornet. That's exactly right. Whatever you come for, Hornet, you're not getting it, see? Jim, you forgot the money. Bring it here. Why, you dirt... I could give you a shot of gas and take it anyway, Jennings. Hey, Jim, do as he says. Here. Here it is. That's better. That goes for Slagle, Hornet. It was for Slagle, but not anymore. But that's all we have. The Slagle's collector is due any minute. That's too bad. The Green Hornet got here first. You can't. What do we tell him? Tell him anything. This cash goes with me. No, Jim. Alice, let me go. I'll get up. Green Hornet, huh? No, Jim, I, I won't thank you. It's too late. There he goes. But Jennings was wrong. The Green Hornet had no intention of leaving. As the car pulled away, Beckreed spoke to Cato, the only living man to know him as the Green Hornet. Cato doubled back around the block. I want to be there when Slagle's collector arrives. Yes, Mr. Ed. I'll be there when he does. You wait for me in the car. time later, Slagle's collector arrived at Jennings' home. He refused to believe Jennings' story. Stop stalling, Jennings. Where's that dog? I tell you, the Green Hornet took it. Don't make me laugh. The Hornet wouldn't bother with 20 bucks. The truth. My husband left the money in the other room when he came to the door before. I, I thought it was you calling, so I brought the money out to him. And the Hornet grabbed it. You expect me to believe that? You got that dough hid someplace. The other room, I'll bet. Go ahead. Search if you want to. You won't find it in there. Oh, I won't, huh? Oh, you call this, you dumbhead. Right on the table and see it with my name on it. Well, that bluff's so easy, I wouldn't even look in here, huh? I swear it wasn't... You're different. getting too big for your hat, Jennings, since that picture got in the papers. When I tell Slagle about this, he'll whittle you down plenty. Outside the window, a tall, masked figure listened to Kruger's outburst and then moved away silently. Step number one in my plan to uncover Slagle's racket. Now, if only everything moves along as smoothly as it's been going so far, the Green Hornet is going to have a busy night. And that means a busy night for Bat Slagle as well. Slagle and his whole crooked outfit. The curtain falls on the first act of our Green Hornet adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Rit Reed found that Bat Slagle, a racketeer, had every gas station in the city paying him a cent a gallon on gasoline as tribute. By intimidation, violence, and every force at his command... Slagle was making his victims keep silent. Assuming the role of the Green Hornet in an attempt to smash Slagle's racket, Brett Reed made it appear that the most courageous of Slagle's victims had attempted to withhold his weekly payment of protection money from Slagle's henchmen. Following Brett Reed's instructions, Cato had the Black Beauty waiting in an alley near Jennings' house. Slide over, Cato. I'll take the wheel. Very well, Mr. Reed. Is the plan working, Mr. Bates? So far, the plan is going fine, Cato. I double back and toss the collection envelope in through the open window. Slagle's collector thinks Jennings is trying to pull a bluff. He's on his way to Slagle now. We go there? The Black Beauty will get up to Slagle's place twice as fast as he can make it. Cato, the Green Hornet, is going to be in that office when Slagle's collector arrives. It's about time you showed up, Kruger. Got the door from Jennings? Yeah, there it is. Can you imagine that guy, Pat? He tried to stall. Jennings? Yeah, Jennings. Uh, what do you mean? 
Here's the dough. He said he didn't have it. Tried to tell me the green hornet had swiped this dough. The green hornet? That's a lie. And all the time is right in the next room. Wasn't even hid. Tried to bluff you, huh? <laughs> didn't work. You ought to take him down a peg anyhow, Bat. If any one of them guys gives us trouble, it'll be him, all right. Not if you show him who's boss, it won't. Yeah. Yeah. Kruger, from now on, Jennings is going to have to pay two cents on every gallon instead of one. Twice as much? That'll teach him to try and act up with me. Now, let's count this dough just to make sure. Okay, Ben. It's getting late. Feels like more than 20... Hey, Slager, look at this. What? Jennings tricked us. Instead of real dough, this envelope is chucked full of plain paper. What? Why that? Let me see. He even used heavy paper so it would sound like the real thing when I felt the envelope. You sad. Well, the envelope was sealed, Bat. I didn't think he would try a stunt like this. He won't no more. Jennings thinks he can fool around with me, huh? Let me handle him, Bat. Nick, you might come back like you did this time. Besides, this job's more down Zelly's alley. Zelly? Yeah, that's right. Slave on this end. You're gonna do a job tonight, Zelly. I got it all figured. Now, here's what you're going to do. Hidden in the shadows where he had been since before Kruger's arrival, the Green Hornet listened to Slagle's conversation. Then the Slagle finished talking. That's the idea, Zelly. And make sure nothing goes wrong. I want Jennings to know he can't play around with my outfit. Well, that's your scheme. Huh? Who the devil's that? It won't work, Slagle. You, you're masked. It's... It's the Green Hornet. Over next to each other. Got a rod, eh? I heard about that gun, boss. It ain't got bullets, only gas. Oh, gas, huh? And only one gun. I get it. Don't knock the table over. That won't help. Get him from behind, Kruger. He can't shoot both ways. Okay, Bat. Uh, Take his gas. <coughs> get him, Kruger. I know I got you. <coughs> More. Who else? <coughs> gas me from behind. <coughs> I was waiting. He didn't see me. Good work. One from each side at the same time is a little hard to handle. They almost had me. What do we do now? Well, first, we make sure these two rats are unconscious. Yeah, they're completely out. Can you fix them up so they'll stay that way until four in the morning? Four in the morning? That's the time when Slagle told Zully to do that job. If we're going to trap these rats, we'll need every minute in between. Jim, we ought to be going to bed. It's after 12. Well, you go ahead, honey. I ain't sleepy. All right. Don't be long. Good night, Jim. Night, honey. It's taken plenty out of me to be paying off this legal. If he's going to make it any tougher, what, and I might as well quit. And that reporter. Why'd I suck him in the first place? I certainly must have looked jealous to him. Gosh, if I did have any dope on Slingle's racket, I would call that reporter. That's a good idea, Jennings. Oh, it's you again. What do you want now? I'm your friend. You put me in a spot with Slingle. For one purpose, to take care of Slingle. It don't make sense. First you swipe that dough, then you bring it back so Slingle's collector can find it. Exactly. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be worried about what Slingle's going to do. Plenty. I don't need a guy in a mask to tell me that. Jennings, I'm going to help you stop him. You? You don't believe me? I've heard plenty about you, Hornet, and none of it good. Perhaps this will convince you. What? It's money. Dollar bills. Look at them. Why, it, the money I gave to Slagle's collector. What he took was nothing but strips of paper. I had this money with me from the first. I can't figure you on it. Don't try to. But the whole thing's screwy. The money, Slagle... Jennings, I want to get Slagle as much as you do. Yeah, I guess this proves it. But how can you get Slagle when nobody's got the goods on him? Be at your gas station at four this morning. But it's closed. I close it up at 12 when my helper leaves. Never mind that. Call the cops, too. Call this, uh, this reporter if you want to. Be there and watch what happens. Jennings followed the suggestion given him by the Green Hornet. He called the office of the Daily Sentinel and asked for Lowry. I want to talk to a reporter named Lowry. Yeah, this is Lowry speaking. Who wants me? This is Jennings. Jennings? Yeah, I'm the guy that runs that gas station. Oh, you. Well, listen, Jennings. If you want to take another poke at me for getting that picture in the Sentinel, you can forget it. I didn't want that picture released either. Well, you don't get it, Lowry. I'm calling about something else. Here's a tip for you. Be at my gas station around 4 o'clock. What for? The police are going to nab Slagle. I got the dope from the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet? You mean he's in on this? Will you be there? Will I be there? Try and keep me away. Wow, talk about a scoop. 
So a slate will mob her up to something. Hello. Hello. Listen, get me clicker, Benny. Show her on the phone. How else? I don't know where she is. Try every place. Try her home. Try the movie around the corner. Try any place but get her. No, it isn't personal. It's business. I got inside information that the Green Hornet's going to bust Slagle's gang wide open. Jennings gas station. Yeah, it's deserted, all right. And the problem now is how to get in. I look down, Smith. See if the window's open. I'll try the door. Uh, the door's locked. It's not very strong. It'd be easy to force it open, but I'd rather not. No need to damage property. I found the window, Smith. It's locked, but there's a hole in the window pane. Good, Cato. If there's a hole in the window pane, we'll be able to unlock it and get inside without any trouble. Yeah, it is. Uh, if I can reach the catch... Probably this window was broken the last time Slagle had Jennings' place bombed. And Jennings didn't have enough money to repair it. Yeah, there. I can feel the wind to catch now. You have Slagle and Kruger, Kato? Yes, sir. I'll go in through this window and open the door. And we'll bring the two of them in and put them right where Zelly will find them. Yes, sir. They are still unconscious. Working carefully and hurriedly, Britt Reed opened the door. Together, he and Cato carried the unconscious racketeers into Jennings' gas station. They moved in almost total darkness. You never think to look at Slagle that he weighs so much, Cato. Uh, hey, be careful of that chair. All right, put him down here next to Kruger. Ah, that's it. The two of them side by side where Zelly can find them. Yes, sir. We'll leave the door unlocked so that Zelly can get in without any delay. Time for us to leave. We're not staying. No, we can't afford to stay here. It's too risky. But we'll be near enough to check if anything goes wrong. Will Slagle and Kruger recover soon? Positive. They'll wake up in a little while now. Fine. I may be wrong, but Slagle's apt to be overconfident. He'll try to play out his hand in spite of everything. And that will mean his finish. Come on, Cato. while after Britt Reed and Cato left, the two racketeers stirred. Slagle sat up. What happened? Where? Oh, it's dark. Uh, Hornet. Yes. Who's that? <laughs> Kruger. That's you? Yes. Hornet did it. Couldn't get him. Kruger. Kruger, wake up. Huh? Oh, uh, Slagle. Where, where are we? Kruger, it was that blasted green Hornet. I remember now. He gassed us in my office. Snap out of it. Yeah. Yeah, your office. That's where he must be now. He snapped off the lights and left us. Oh, that's it. Got scared and took a powder. <laughs> now we'll find the light switch and then... Slater, this ain't your office. No, no, it ain't. And where the devil are Look they? out the window. Look at them gas pumps. Hey, this is Jennings' place. I recognize it plain. Yeah, just liked up to see things outside. So the Green Hornet brought us here. Guess he figured we'd still be unconscious when Zelly came around to do a job on the place. We'd have been done for. <laughs> yeah, and we figured wrong. That gas he used wasn't as strong as he thought. We'll just walk off when Delly shows up, and nobody the wiser. Hey, there's somebody coming now. See him? Through the window. Huh? Not Zelly. Come on. We're going outside and meet him. What the? What's that? Take it easy, Zelly. It's me and Kruger. I didn't expect you down there, boss. What's the matter? Checking up on me? Ah, oh, we know you can handle it, Zelly. It was the Green Hornet. He brought us the here. Hornet? He tried a little scheme to take care of me and Kruger. Only he slipped up, see? Now let's get busy. You got the bomb? Right here, boss. Okay. We'll set it down right here next to the gas tank. Now give me a match for this fuse. We'll take care Don't of it. Don't mind the match. What the devil? Wiggle. Oh, okay, car. get in there. Grab him. You gotta get out of here. Get up. Reach. You don't get me. No, you don't. No, what's Slagle? He's Slagle to me, Sergeant. Wait, Jennings, don't. Bomb my gas station, will you, Slagle? Hey, Slagle, snap this one. Jennings is going to poke Slagle. Make us pay you tribute, huh? Well, the cop's got the goods on you now. All right, you got me. What else now? Yes, no. Oh, honey, did you get it, Clicker? And how? Thanks, Jennings. You saved us the trouble. Put the cuffs on him. Okay, Doyle. Listen, officer, it's a mistake. I wasn't supposed to be here. Tell it to the judge, Kruger. Don't listen to him. He's in as deep as me. I tell you, the Green Hornet brought me and Slagle here. Sure he did, and a good job, too. The Green Hornet. Is that why you got the tip, Jennings? Yeah, and it worked smooth as clockwork. Trust the Green Hornet for that. 
So the Green Hornet's responsible for this, eh? Well, that's the first good thing he ever did. Listen, Sergeant, the Green Hornet's okay, see? No matter what people say, he's one guy I'm going to believe in from now on. <laughs> Green Hornet's doing the hard nuts, 